Hello everyone, I am Nini Pompeo and today we have a new review here on our YouTube channel. Uh, I am the honor to present you the new Kinetic Gold F16A MLU NATO Viper and in 148 scale. A completely new toolet kit from F16 in 148 scale. Uh, well, first of all, some considerations about the project. I have worked with Kinetic uh, uh, on this project and this is based on the blueprints of the um, Lockheed Martin and we have a completely new technology for development of details, surface pine lines and to achieve uh, accurate shape of the aircraft and surface details and also and most important a uh, perfect fit on the building uh, and as you know the f-16 is a very complex aircraft on your design so it's very difficult for engineers uh, to create in an easy way to assemble this this, this aircraft here when we place this as a model kit but uh, i think that kinetic models really did a very nice job on this um, first of all we can check the box and as uh, uh, common for kinetic models, we have uh, uh, the new kinetic gold uh, box uh, with details in black and gold presenting a nice uh, box art by Greek um, aviation artist Antonis Karitz presenting a Belgian Air Force F-16A MLU uh, intercepting Russian bombers bear and we have also here some important information about what's inside the box. We have a complete model kit for uh, uh, F-16A with markings for Portugal, for uh, uh, Holland, for uh, Denmark, Norway and Belgium. These decals are designed by Brazilian company FCM decals, okay, and printed in Italy by cartography. So we have a high quality decals inside the box okay and this model is compatible with a uh, magfire system the magnetic system to attach the uh, weapons to the aircraft pylons without uh, uh, you, uh, use of glue okay why this is not included uh, uh, the magnet pins are not included inside the box because we have some problems to sell this kind of things in uk in US usa and in other countries on europe and asia so now we are trying to uh, find uh, the correct way or have the correct authorizations to to do this in the future we can release this set for a mark fire uh, on the market okay it's not a question of uh, kinetic want or not to place this inside the box but we have some regulations some laws in, in uh, on the countries that are not uh, not permit this kind of uh, uh, of uh, products inside the box well well say so this we have to check a little bit on the side of the box with some 3D images of the aircraft and also with some model features, weapons included. We will take a look at this inside the box soon. Okay, and also let's see another side. We have a preview of the profiles of the aircraft includes on the decals. Okay, as you can see, the Portuguese one here, Denmark, Holland, Norway and Belgium. I tried to to choose for this box aircrafts that are uh, have operational real uh, real operations uh, in Afghanistan or Iraq uh, to 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 have some real combat experimented aircraft inside the, the this, this box as decal options. So when I decide as a manager on this project, I decided to include some aircraft used in real operations on the Middle East. Uh, it's something that I think uh, uh, most of the 
scale models uh, prefer to, to, to represent on your uh, model kits. Well, this is the box. This is what it looks when you get this on the model shop. But uh, the most important things are inside the box. And before we go for this, I need to tell you that uh, the most complicated thing on the project of IF16 is to have uh, conditions to, to place all the parts necessary uh, for the future re release and for the all different variants of the aircraft. And this was the biggest challenge on this kit. We can find space on the modes, on the sprues to, to place uh, the parts for the all variants of the F-16 that we pretend to release in the future. I will show you some of this along of this review, uh, but uh, uh, I would like to say that it's one of the most difficult aircrafts to project as a model kit, due to the difference between variants and how many variants you have fly around the world today. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. Here we have two sprues of the F-16 model. Uh, the C sprue with the front upper surface and the B sprue with the lower uh, airframe section and engine uh, area uh, upper surface uh, section. Uh, I just placed these two sprues together here to show you how it w uh, works on the on the mode injection. This is part of a same mode. Uh, these two parts are uh, injected together inside the same mode of metal. Okay, so this uh, comes out of the the, the injection uh, machine uh, like this with these two parts together. So we have to separate this in two different sprues. It's, it's the kind of things that the company do, do to save space and to have these uh, conditions to place more parts to represent different variants of the aircraft on the same mode, okay? This is the, the, the reason that we can include, for example, on the B the sprue, the ADF tail parts that you show you soon, okay? This is just to, to, to understand a little bit more about the engineering and not just uh, um, about the parts or about the details on the on the model. It's a, just a, a, a small part of the all com complexity of parts and, and project around the development of a model kit. For example, here we have two different sprues, but they are injected together to save, uh, to save space, to save uh, space and to give uh, conditions to include more parts and other and other uh, sprues and represent more and more variants of a singular aircraft like a, a F-16 that has too many differences between uh, your uh, blocks or your variants, okay? So let's take a look uh, uh, on the details of this. I will take the B sprue out and we just start with the, the C. I'll show you and then on the flight soon. Let's take a look at this. We can see the surface details. This is engraved with a laser system to have a sharp in engraved panel lines with details for the rivets, and that can mix the recessed panel lines and engraved panel lines. Uh, together on the same kind of uh, of parts to give the real shape to the aircraft. This is the most advanced technology to create this kind of details and scale models today. As you can see, on the wings we have the perfect shape of riveting and also on the cockpit here. One point that we have to choose is to include the 
uh, slice birds and uh, antenna uh, on the the nose. So if you are going to 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 uh, build a version of the F16 that is not included or, or that not used, this uh, we have to send. But the sending work for this is is, is quite simple for uh, also for no experienced modelers. I think that's not a problem on an aircraft that has a perfect fit at all. So uh, spend some minutes to, to send this is not a, a, a real problem, in my opinion. Okay, here we have the cockpit bay. You can see the details. It's a, a great upgrade uh, if you compare with the, the earlier uh, generation of Kinetic Vipers. We really did a very well uh, job on the on details of the cockpit. Okay. I will show you the other side. And let's go for the B, the B sprue. The Bree sprue has parts for both F16C and A, uh, here upper fuselage parts for the two types of uh, uh, pinal lines for two different types of uh, configuration of the aircraft, but uh, you can easily manage it between one another uh, depending with uh, uh, the, which variant you are tr you are going to build? You can see the details on the panel lines. Here, the lower surface of the wings, also with uh, resisted panel lines engraved by laser system, that you can see uh, the high details, high quality details on this. Here, the beautiful engraved pinal lines on the lower surface of the airframe. I'm going to take a special close on this. This is the the air brake system area, very nice detailed too. You can see in both sides. And as I told you, parts that are included on the last minute, the ADF tail parts, as you can see here. Okay. I close here. And let's go for the next. Um, I'm going to the engine and landing gear parts now. The E sprue. Okay. Let's go for the E sprue. This is a small one. And this is the spruce. Uh, uh, with uh, common parts for both C and A. Uh, these parts of the engine is the petals of the engine is are not uh, used, but we have here, for example, the engine uh, air intake parts. As you can see, very nice detailed too. If you're not going to use the, the pods, the electronic pods or tire system, we can remove these small pins. Also, nothing uh, too much problematic. As you can see, we have parts for the engines. Landing gears, very nicely detailed and very nicely injected. It's uh, a part of the model that, uh, in my opinion, uh, gives the um, some kind of attitude, some kind of personality for their for the model. So it's very important, to, in my opinion, to represent this 
this these parts correctly with the correct uh, uh, details some engine parts the air intake duct and parts for landing gear doors here uh, the petals of the engine is for the C variant not using this A aircraft variant and here we have the air intake mouth used on some variants of the aircraft yes you know that it's uh, is different from a uh, uh, variant to another so we need to take care when you, you start to build a model of f16 and check which one is correct for the ver version that you are going to build okay let's go for the next well here we have uh, parts uh, into um, into uh, sprues this is the sprue f and coming uh, uh, twice inside the box okay uh, we have uh, parts for the uh, wheels, for the pylons, for the stabilizers, uh, drop tanks, and the new trailer, tra tra okay, triple ejection hack uh, for the F-16, something very nice to, to create a, a very um, realistic aircraft here and also the ACES uh, injection seat. That, that, let me show you the details in close. Very nice work on the, on the wheels. Also on the pylons. The ejection seat, you can see here the control sticks, the hooder pedals, the tanks, and pylons. Some people can ask you why we not included the EPAF pilots. Uh, it's because not all the aircraft use this, and we we need to take decisions when we are uh, developing a, a, a model kit and include that most of the parts that are common for different versions. So, some parts that are used for uh, 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 one or two uh, variants, we need to sacrifice this to place parts to develop and, and to can uh, uh, make uh, uh, the most uh, of variants as you can. So sometimes you have to take the decision to, to leave some parts to be done by the aftermarket and not include all because it will become a, a 10 or 12 spruce model kit that will cost much more than you want to offer and one of the most important questions of today for the kinetic is present quality with a fair price so this is one of the most important decisions and why we will do our models today we can do a very high quality model but with a fair price sometimes so we have to take some decisions to include this or not uh, this uh, and leave some things for the aftermarket parts okay this is something important because all models want good models but the, no, none of all models want to pay too much for this so we have to equilibrate because uh, model companies need to pay your papers and pay your projects to keep doing uh, the, the different projects uh, and uh, and this is the way create models with high quality but a fair price to can reach the market uh, uh, and, and to reach the modelers around the world with a fair way to 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 be accepted uh, by by the modeling community. Let's go ahead.
here we have another great sprue okay this is the d sprue and we have parts for the landing gear base as you can see here another part that have a great improvement on the details and if you build the previous uh, kinetic f16 you know that's a very complicated part to to build in the old tooling aircrafts so this in this case we have a perfect fit and an easy build when attached to the to the model so it's a very important uh, upgrade on the engineering on the quality of injection of parts here we have the tail section parts as you can see the perfect shape uh, and engraved uh, assisted panel lines with the rivets here we have parts for the radar so we don't need we, you don't need more to find the old uh, Verlaine set with the radar we have this inside the box now some different slice bird antennas for the forthcoming release pod nose section antennas flaps let me show you the front landing gear bale you can see the quality of details is very very nice and a great improvement if compared with the old one. Oh, something very interesting here the instrument panels for the A and MLU and for the this is for the block 70 uh, that will release in the future here for the C variant let me show you a better way to do this be seen here I think here is good very nice details on the cover of the cockpit different tail options gun fairing Uh, tail uh, for parachute and for the MLU from Belgium with uh, sensors okay here another part of the radar the antenna of radar you can see the high quality on the tails here so we really have a great improvement in relation of the the old model from kinetic and this is really one of the most uh, uh, weighted release for the for its scale for this year and here is the result a very nice detailed model with a perfect shape and a perfect fit let me show you this parts too the tail extension let's go ahead <clears throat> here is the weapons the weapons also come in twice two sprues and as you can see we have a completely new sprue for weapons is not use the old ones in uh, auto we can use the old weapons for these vipers to the old weapons for kinetic for this viper too but kinetic choose to create a completely new set of weapons with a gbu 24 with jdams with uh, uh gbu 49 and agm 84 harm um new uh, am 120 and sidewinders from b to p uh, to X variants here yeah. many people are asked why to 
to cut the, 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 the missiles like sidewinder in too many parts. And the, the reply response for this is that it's necessary for the future of the Magfights uh, uh, option. So we decide to create this um, cutted uh, weapons part to the future. We can uh, make it interchangeable. Uh, between the aircraft uh, without use of cement, okay? As you can see, the weapons are very nice there, designed, and we can choose if a heave or lighter uh, load of bombs and missiles. This is Bruso comes to. This is the key sprue. Let's go ahead. The final gray injected sprue come with uh, some pods to be used uh, by F-16. We have, for example, the lightning and the sniper pod here but also the uh, a little bit uh, side ones for the early vipers used by itself or export countries as you can see once again very nice detailed very nice injected okay and to finish the clear parts and the clear parts is always a question is the clear parts real clear and i can say to you that yes as you can see here kinetic also have improved the quality of our clear parts on the last projects and for this f16 we have a uh, very nice detailed parts uh yes you have a mold on the middle of the canopy but it's necessary to create the shape. I already explained this on other uh, reviews that I place in my channel. Uh, today that I am working with the project of the models and not just sit on the bench to build this and find problems. Uh, and I, I can understand why this happens. And I try to uh, present you the reason for this. To create the correct round shape for this kind of canopies we need to have an injection on in the middle of this but 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 if you take a look in this you see that the seam line here is very very uh less visible than uh unsigned kits from kinetic or any other company so we have also here a great advance on the project and the quality of injection here we have also parts for the navigation lights, for the hood, for uh, other lights uh, and for the weapons and pods too. It's very nicely injected. Once again, take a look on the tails of the canopy parts with the rivets molded here. It's a little bit uh, dirt with a uh, finger uh, markings because I had take a look uh, for a long time before I start the video looking for details and important things to mention here but real really 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 is a, a very nice done clear part okay so let's to the conclusion let's talk about what have inside the box what we see and I come
So, my friends, what can I say about this release? Uh, Kinetic was worked along of the uh, last four, three, four, three, four years, three to four years on the, the, the this new F-16. And they uh, managed to, to create uh, maybe the best and well detailed uh, F-16 kit in 48 scale with options for radar. Uh, options to change between the different variants. We can remember that we have a nice kit from from uh, Tamiya that just permit to, to to represent the C variants and not all blocks of the C variants. So now we have a very promising release that can uh, in the future present all all the the variants of the F-16 and the parts inside the box show the that Kinetic is is going to do this and we have news coming in, in January of uh, 2023, a completely new thing that uh, F-16 family uh, need to have in, in, in 48 scale and with quality, with these accurate parts. And the most important thing, we see the quality of the parts. Okay, uh, you can tell me that some, some details uh, some parts uh, 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 are missed for a specific uh, user, operator, or for a specific uh, uh, aircraft, but uh, all you need to create uh, different variants of the Viper are inside of this box. And this is the most bigger challenge that a company have when project a model. Find a way to place all the tails that an aircraft with more then 10 different variants need to be placed and to permit to represent all the, the variants for the future release. And this is something that Kinetic do uh, on this kit and have to be something that we have to congratulate the company, the, your engineers, the, the projectors, the people uh, from the jeeps, the guys that uh, take care of the uh, revision of the project, review of the project and to manage to, to, to release this. Um, I'm very happy to have work as a post, post production manager on this, taking care of the, get the model ready and place this in the market. But the most important thing is that we did a really nice model with a fair price these days. Okay, so if you want to have some fun, go for it, go for it. It's available and Look model uh, for $39.9 and it's in my opinion it's a very fair price for this kit okay hope you like this uh, thanks for watching the the review and see you soon hi thanks guys